Hey everybody, it's Naomi Rose from Rapunzel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a two scarf version of the Regal Wrap, which is our favorite wrap to teach beginners. Um, this version with two scarves is a really, really great option if you've mastered the Regal Wrap but you're looking for something a little more complicated, maybe a little more fancy, you're ready to start adding one other scarf or another sash, but you're not really sure where to start. So I'm always doing this myself. It's probably one of my favorite wraps. And I get people asking all the time, how do I do that? And really, it's very simple, but we never made a video of it. <laughs> so here I am, out of frustration, finally making this video for a two-scarf regal wrap. So you can do this with any two long rectangular scarves, or you can do it with one long rectangular scarf and any kind of sash. So I'll show you both versions in the video. They're pretty much the same, maybe a little subtle differences, but just to be very, very detailed, I'll do both. So first I'll do it with two long rectangular scarves. This is a purple two-in-one, so I'll start with that. Just like the original Regal Wrap video, you'll want to fold your scarf to fit your head. And what that means is instead of just having it straight like this, you're going to fold the top part down, like so. And you're going to put it in the middle of your head so that the ends are equal length. And what you want to do is make sure that from here that the end of the scarf is at the nape of your neck in the back. Only at the nape of your neck and not any farther down. So I'll turn sideways so you can see what I mean a little better. So the fact that it doesn't hang halfway down my back means that when I tie a knot it'll be much easier. It won't be frustrating and bulky. Okay, so we have two equal ends and we fold it under at the front. I'm going to tie them at the nape of the neck. Okay. Now at this point you can fix anything funny at the front. You can fix any wrinkles at the side by pulling them gently backward. Okay, make sure it's all nice and smooth before you move on to the next step. The next step is to take one of the ends. If you accidentally got one a little bit shorter, which always happens, believe me, now would be the time to take the shorter one. Doesn't matter what side it's on. You're going to take these curling in ends and fold them into the middle here on top and bring it over your bun fairly far back. And then these little ends, you're going to tuck underneath the scarf but not underneath the velvet headband or the volumizer. You want to make sure that they're not balled up in one location and not underneath your velvet headband, otherwise they're going to drive you nuts and give you a headache. So I usually find the best pocket by putting my finger here by my ear, um, over the headband, over the volumizer, but under the scarf, and then I move my finger back until it's by the nape of the neck, and then I know I'm in the right place, and that's where I put the ends. So I'll turn around and tuck those in. Okay, so this I'm not going to worry about because it's going to be hidden by another scarf anyway. And I have one end remaining of the first scarf. Now it's time for the second one. Alright, this is a striped delight, but again you can use any long rectangular scarf. I think that doing a pattern and a solid looks really really great together, so I do that a lot. You can also play with one texture plus a different texture and that's a cool look too. So you're going to do the same folding over thing that we did with the first scarf. And this one also is going to have two equal ends. You may have to fold it over a bit more because with this one, we're going to not go all the way to the front. We're going to show a little bit of the purple here. Okay, so make sure your ends are equal. Show a little bit at the front, however much you want, of the first scarf. And now you can see that that little fuzzy end, it doesn't matter because it's covered completely by the second scarf. Okay, and make sure also that this end is all the way over to the nape of your neck, or else it'll stick up and stick out. So for me, I'm going to have to fold a little bit less, actually, to get the length right in the back. Little adjustments like this happen every day in every wrap, so don't feel like you're incompetent if you have to keep fixing things. 
because I have to keep fixing things and everyone has to keep fixing things and it's not anything to worry about. Okay. One more go. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. All right, so this one I'm gonna tie underneath this purple end. I'll show you what I mean. I'll turn around so you can see. Okay, now we have three. Really, we only want to end up with two, one of each color. So just like we did the first time, we're going to get rid of one of the two ends of the second scarf. So fold your ends in. Bring it up and over somewhere around here-ish towards the back. And this one, you have options. You can tuck it in the same way you did with the first one, which is by finding the pocket going back to the nape of your neck and sticking it there underneath the scarves but not underneath the velvet headband or you can tuck it into itself on the side there's a pocket here that I made myself when I brought this over and you can stick it in to that pocket instead of underneath everything so I'll do that this time just so you can have an idea of what both options are Okay, notice also when I tucked those ends in that I tucked them in all the way up to about here rather than just pushing them all in one place. That helps to avoid like a big bump once you tuck the end in. If you spread it out over a bigger distance, it won't look so bulky. Okay, so now we have two ends. Take the first scarf, same deal. We're just doing the same thing again that we already did. We're gonna show as much as you want and you can spread it out as far as you want over your head also. You're leaving the bun showing the blue scarf. The purple one just goes back to about the edge of the bun. All right, same deal. You have two choices of where to tuck your ends. Whatever is more comfortable for you is best. Okay, and at this point, if it was a little uneven when you brought one of the scarves over, like you have a big section and a small section, you can easily adjust by just picking the edge with your finger and bringing it forward, or you can pull it back like this if you wanted to show more of the blue. Okay, and this is your final end. And if you want to get creative, you can also do things like twist before bringing it over, um, but I just want to stick to very, very, very simple. <laughs> so I'm going to keep going the way I've been going. Okay. Like so. Okay, so once you have all those little fringes tucked away, you can again change anything about the layers that didn't come out exactly right manually. You can smooth down any wrinkles or bumps. Um, you can add a headband, a stretchy headband, or a pin, um, or a flower clip, anything you want. It's a really, really pretty wrap for being so simple. And it's probably the most common one for me in the summer months when I want everything off my neck, but I want a little bit more interest than just one scarf. Okay, so there is your two scarf regal wrap. Now I'm going to show you the variation with the sash instead of the second scarf. It's really basically the same thing, but since a sash is a thinner piece of fabric, 
I want to do it start to finish just to be very thorough. Okay. All right. This time I'm going to use the blue scarf first. Start again like any regal wrap. Fold it. Put your head in the middle so the ends are equal. Like so. Make sure the length is to the nape of your neck, which it isn't. <laughs> All right, that's better. And tie it. Fix any funny wrinkles. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. All right, here's your two ends. Take one of them. If it's a little shorter, then do the shorter one. Up and over the bun. Tuck it in. The very first end I almost always do underneath everything, and the others I usually do in the pocket, but that's just my personal preference. Alrighty. Now here's a sash. This is a lace sash from Rapunzel, but there are lots and lots of kinds of these. There are silky ones, there are sari sashes, lots of fun things you could use that aren't a full scarf but are plenty long. Alright. Now the positioning is up to you, but you want to go in the middle of the sash, or sort of one third of the way over is alright too. It depends on how long you have, because if your sash is very long, if you can put it on your head, tie it, and still have enough for each end to go all the way around your head, then you want to go in the middle. If your sash is a little shorter, and if you went in the middle, you would have ends that were too short to go all the way over your head, then you want to go over a little bit to one side. This one is going to fit over my head three times, once initially, and then each end would still be long enough to bring all the way over, so I'll go in the middle. And with scalloped edges like this, you can kind of decide where you want them. If you have them right in the middle of your head like this, it kind of mimics the part of hair. But you can also have them off center. It's really up to you. All right, so I'm tying this underneath the other scarf. Like so. Now, at this point, if you have a short sash, one of these ends is going to be really short because you tied it about a third of the way over and one end is going to be very long. So if that's you, take the short end and tuck it into the pocket of the first scarf just to get it out of the way. So that would be right here. You would tuck in the short end. Me, I have two very long ends. I don't have to do that. Instead, I'm just going to casually, without really caring how it looks, bring this one over a second time. And I'll show you why it doesn't matter how it looks. And I'm gonna bring it into the pocket on this side. Okay, so the reason it doesn't matter how that looked is because we have this end, which is going to happen now. So fold your ends into the middle so that this end is nice and clean, because that's going to be in the front. And you're going to show some of the sash. I usually like to go about halfway through the lace, but it depends on what kind of sash you're using. If you're using a sari sash and you have strips of different colors, you can decide what you want to show and what you want to cover. And make sure you cover all of the purple lace in the back. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this into the pocket on the side. And then I can make any corrections that I want to make. Now I have the remaining end of lace, so I make it all the way spread out. And I bring it over wherever I want to bring it over. Either very close to the other layer or very far back. Depends on what I feel like that day. Like so. And tuck it into the pocket. Like 
And there you have it, regal wrap with a scarf plus a sash. Very fancy and pretty without being too complicated. So this is the regal wrap with two scarves. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great, great middle ground wrap if you want something basic but not too basic, fancy but not too fancy. It's my absolute favorite. So enjoy, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you create. Bye.